The last section of the board we're going to talk about is pulse width, hertz, and frequency. Pulse width modulation is something that you know really came out first when we started seeing daylight running lights. Now we're seeing it more and more in all kinds of different functions. Section 7 are several things we can check using the common ground and the T-pin. Before we do this though, we got to make sure our meter is properly set up. On this meter, we do have a hertz and a percentage setting on the dial. And look right now, we're on uh, Hertz. The board's set up to a standard, you know, reading for Hertz. It's going to read the same thing no matter what. And we read 73.6 Hertz. That one does not change for anything. But there are some other things that we can do that does change. If I hit the Hertz percent button, now I've went from reading Hertz on that pin to now I'm reading the duty cycle. I can change this knob here. Right now we're at 48.8, but I can adjust this and give a different pulse width or a different percentage reading that we can check. This is a good way to see what you know, a technician would see in the field and make sure he understands when he's trying to check this. As a good example, I'm try to move the meter over here so you can get a better idea of it, but we're still using that pulse width modulation and right now we're at 0%. As I turn that pulse width on higher and higher, if you look, our light actually gets brighter and brighter here because of the amount of time it's on versus the time it's off. In essence, we're controlling the brightness by controlling the duty cycle.